It appears like we're now really in the thick of the coronavirus crises and even our usually cavalier responsible president finally seems to be taking it a little more seriously even as he still continues to lie and misinform but at least uh, he's a little more serious and you know, in the near term as I said in prior videos with Mars moving in here to trigger this cluster uh, particularly Jupiter and Pluto in those degrees that's due to happen later this week Saturn is almost out of Capricorn if we're looking for some daylight some kind of thing that might provide a change in tone though not necessarily change the situation in a big way it probably has to be Saturn moving into Aquarius and then Mars following suit but unfortunately when they're first together in Aquarius that probably also isn't going to work so I'm guessing that around the first week of April by which time Mars is starting to separate from Saturn or perhaps a week after that we should have at least some sense of where this might be going and uh, a little more visibility let's say I'm not ready yet to say though that given other transits that are present you know, going into the summer and even and into the fall uh, where this is going to go in the broader sense this is the way astrology tends to work because uh, situations will point to a certain thing and then they can switch to something that is still ruled by that area but doesn't involve the first thing so for example when we look at the eighth sign where all these US planets are that's a sign that uh, rules uh, things like the market investment borrowed money we can clearly see the crises there but it's also a place where you find infections uh, such as this this uh, um, pandemic we're going through but we can get to a point where uh, for example the pandemic lightens up but then there are residual uh, troubles to the market that's a possibility they both don't have to happen at the same time and so therefore it's helpful to wait to see what happens as you get tone changes with planets like Saturn Mars moving out of the way because then you have Jupiter and Pluto in there which is still you know, quite powerful putting pressure on the US Mercury uh, but it shouldn't be quite as bad and it'll give us it'll give us a better a better sense of what is likely to happen next